Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, lovely to see all these names and faces appearing as if by magic. I'm getting to know many of your faces and certainly many of your names for those who and whose faces I can't see. But that's lovely. So I feel like I'm coming back to my family every Monday night. I hope that's true for some of you too. <clears throat> so we'll just, we'll just wait a little moment more for others to join, join us as everybody starts to come in. And just to let you know that we, we're doing the, the daily meditation practice tonight. We should call it the uh, evening meditation practice, really, shouldn't we, rather than the, the daily one. Um, and it's a favourite practice of mine because it's kind of like, in a way, it's like a bread and butter practice, if you like. Um, and it is my go-to. It's where I always start my practice. Um, and depending on how long I practice for, I, you know, I go on to do other things. But it's a, it's a wonderful and reliable introduction to a meditation practice and to help you to really start to relax. And, and <clears throat> the application of this is, is many fold, but it's, we're talking about managing stress and anxiety. And uh, just before we joined, I was just chatting with Saurabh and Kathy about, um, I have the, the, the wonderful privilege to be in a house up in uh, North Eastern Victoria near the township of Mansfield. And I drove up here this afternoon from Melbourne. And as if you're a Victorian, you would know that it's Labor Day, a long weekend. I think it's true for Tassie too, but and there's a few other states who have popped in an interesting uh, holiday, not called Labor Day, of course. Um, but in any case, that means I was driving against the, against the traffic and there were thousands and thousands and thousands of cars, literally, pretty much from, it was bumper to bumper, pretty much from Mansfield to Yay. So if many of you know, that's about an hour's drive and the cars were bumper to bumper. That's a lot of people. And I was just thinking, um, I, I felt like winding down my window and saying, hey, you're going the wrong way. Turn around. There's nobody going in this direction. Like, just follow me. You'll be fine. Don't go back. Like, don't, you know, don't be a lemming. Don't go back to the city. Of course, you know, I mean, there's plenty of people who had no choice about that. But it just struck me that there's something about <clears throat> the idea of going against the flow. And I don't know about you, but when I started meditating, it was pretty much going against the flow. People, I didn't ever talk about the fact that I meditated. I've been meditating for about four years off and on. Um, so it's something that I did. And, and it was just sort of a habit, really. And also I was a bit shy about talking about that. But for those of you who are joining us regularly, you might feel too that you're going against the flow. And I think having been a student of Ian's for so many years, he often talks about the idea that you are not a statistic, that you are an individual and you have particular characteristics and just about anything is possible for you and for all of us, um, rather than kind of join the living like herd and just go with everybody else. Um, so <clears throat> just, just a little reflection for you. And as I was thinking about this evening, I just thought, um, managing stress and anxiety and thinking, well, what's going on in the world? And you think about all the external horrors that we are facing and witnessing and have been, well, for at least two years, but certainly, of course, much longer than that. And I don't need to name them, you know what they are. And I think about those things and the impact on me and on people that I teach and my family and my friends. And I think about also that sort of an external uh, fear or anxiety, it comes from an external place. But then I think about, well, we also have internal fears, don't we? We have concerns about <clears throat> how we feel, about our health, about our well being, about our relationships, about am I a good person? You know? Am I living a good life? Am I contributing in a meaningful way? So we have lots of things to be concerned about. And if you just stick with all of those concerns, it's very easy to be overwhelmed, really with fear and anxiety, you go, all of these things could be conceived or considered as being really quite unpleasant, even terrible. Um, and so what's the point of this introduction? It's really just to say that meditation provides you with, well, at the very simplest level, an extraordinary relief from all of that fear and anxiety, because you know, I'm sure you've experienced it yourself, it's, it typically is associated with thinking about something that's happened in the past and being regretful perhaps about that, or being anxious about the future, being concerned about what's coming. And again, there's 
you'd be an entirely rational person to look at the, what's happening in Europe and not be um, and to be fearful and to be anxious. That would make complete good sense to me. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to do, you might as well say, my, my lovely bread and, bread and butter practice to just begin to release and let go of that buildup of um, stress and anxiety in our bodies, which of course is, we hold in our bodies physically, but also it affects us hormonally, uh, changes our biochemistry. And so when we begin to practice, it's really, it's always an exercise on bringing yourself into the present moment. However you do that, whatever your personal practice is, you might have very many different strategies of practice. But fundamentally, that's what we're inviting you to do. And that's what I'll be engaging with you tonight to do, to, to really, if you can, let go of all of this concern about the past and the future and allow yourself to de-stress by <clears throat> calming, becoming focused on your breath and your body. So awareness, fundamentally, of how you are in this very moment, and then in this very moment, and then in this very moment, uh, but not the past and not the future. So that's the contemplation that we'll be engaging you to enjoy. So how about we, we get started? Let's take a little sip of water first. And before we start, I'd just like you <clears throat> to find that position that is really most comfortable for you. It's very important that you find a position that you are comfortable with, not one you believe you should hold. You, you read about in the book and said, this is what you really must do if you're a serious meditator. By now, I'm, I'm presuming you know pretty much how you want to be and how you want to sit and how you want to meditate. So find that position fundamentally and let go of any expectations or rules or other things that we sometimes carry with us about this practice. This is your time and I'll lead you through it. So let's begin. So just settling into your position, into your posture, and take as much time as you like just to adjust your body. You might even like to take a few deeper breaths because it really does help you to focus on the present moment. So I just at your own pace, just a few deeper breaths, really being conscious of the breath that you're taking, witnessing it entering your body and leaving your body. Holding yourself in a comfortably upright position if you're sitting or if you're lying, just a little bit supported under your neck and perhaps the back of your knees. I'm just really noticing that sensation of the floor as it supports you. Noticing that pressure underneath the soles of your feet, if you're sitting or your bottom from the chair. Or if you're lying down, just noticing that sensation of support, care and support from the earth beneath you, holding you, cradling you. caring for you. And just allow your hands to sit comfortably in your lap or lying by your side. And then if you put the hand with your eyes, just gently closing. Just begin to turn your thoughts inwards.
And remember that this is a time for relaxing, becoming mindful, and of letting go into the stillness. You might like to just take a moment to remind yourself of why you're choosing to do this practice. But then just let that thought go too. Just don't need to let go of any unnecessary effort. No need to strive for any particular outcome. There's nobody you need to impress, no goal to reach, no box to tick. Nothing in particular to happen, just being curious. Not also alert as we follow the guidance. And just noticing now any particular sounds that you can hear. Perhaps any sounds that are coming to you from outside the space in where you're sitting, your mind. Allowing these sounds to hold your attention. No need to identify them or label them or think about them, just observing and gently noticing those sounds. And just letting go of any judgment that you might be forming. No need to pay attention to commentary, just simply noticing what is. Allowing those sounds from outside your space to just signal their existence. And gently just letting go of those sounds and now turning instead to any sounds coming to you from inside the space where you are. As these sounds amplify a little with your attention. And just maintaining a perspective of curiosity. Intending to these sounds bring you into the present moment. Just simply being aware. The pure sound. The 
your awareness. Now turn your attention, more particularly to your own body, and listening closely. Perhaps noticing the subtle sounds of your body. The sound of your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Simply listening closely with gentle curiosity. Allowing the sounds of your body to simply be. Nothing to correct. Nothing to change. Nothing to fix. Just settling into an awareness of the sounds of your body and of your breath. And as you notice your breath and pay deeper attention to it, perhaps notice too the movement of your body as you're breathing in. And as you're breathing out. And be aware that as you are breathing in, you are breathing in. And as you are breathing out, you are breathing out. And perhaps too, you can even notice the sensation of being with your breath as it enters your body. 
and as it leaves your body. Just a gentle rhythm of your breath. Much like a gentle lapping of the tide as the waves come in, as they go out, the sound sighing a little as the water recedes. You might notice with your attention on your breath, but as you breathe it out, there's a natural feeling of letting go a little. Just a natural thing. And as we breathe out, we just let go a little more. We relax a little more. Simply noticing breathing out, relaxing. Letting go a little. You might also notice that as you breathe out, your breath tends to taper away, usually a little longer, a little finer, a little subtler. We're breathing out and letting go, relaxing a little, and the out breath becoming longer, finer, subtler. And when our breath is complete, there's often there's a, there's a pause, a little gap before we breathe in again. So breathing out, the outbreak longer, fine, subtly. Then a pause, a little gap. Just letting go any efforts to breathe back in again. Simply allowing the breath to come back 
for the time of Paul. Nothing to regulate or change. Nothing to fix. Nothing to alter. Just simply allowing your breath to be. Breathing out the outbreak, becoming longer, finer, subtler. The feeling of letting go, of relaxing, and a pause, and simply allowing the in breath in for the time of cold, quiet, effortlessly. Effortlessly. Relaxing. Releasing the ease of it all. The ease of it all. Simply letting go in all through. Through the body and the mind. Calm and relaxed. Um, and relax. Just going with it. Going with it quite effortlessly. Effortlessly letting go, simply letting go. And now uh, help you to move your attention to that point between the eyes. It's a little into the forehead. And perhaps notice there what's like a still, quiet center, a point of stillness. And maybe you notice it in the space behind the closed eyelids. So just Holding your attention now lightly from the point of stillness. It's almost as if you can merge into this stillness, relaxing, releasing, merging. 
dissolving. And then we can even a sense of expanding into this stillness. Just simply letting go quite effortlessly. Effortlessly. Letting go. Letting go. Now just resting in that stillness for a few moments. And at any stage, you notice your mind is wandering or becoming distracted. Just gently bring your attention back to that point of stillness, relaxing, releasing, merging, dissolving. Keep you resting in that stillness quite effortlessly. Effortlessly. Letting go. Letting go.
That's good. Good. So, getting ready. There's been a little bit of movement into your body. A little bit of movement in your fingers, your toes. Perhaps a stretch if you like, and you're ready. Just gently open your eyes. Thank you, everybody. May you, um, like the fish I described earlier, swim upstream against the tide towards uh, pure water and good health and well being. If you like fish, <laughs> that is. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne. Good night. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Mari. Bye bye.